Grace here at Denver Botanic Gardens Chatfield Farms. I'm going to talk today about Thermopsis lupinoides that you can see here on my left and on my right. Um, this is the Golden Candles plant in the Plant Select program. It's a new addition to the Plant Select program. Um, it's the first week of May and you can see it's going absolutely gangbusters. It looks fabulous. It's got these really beautiful pea-like flowers. It reminds me a lot of Baptisia, but it's going to bloom way earlier than Baptisia. Um, and it's this lovely golden yellow color. It stays in a really nice upright clump. Um, I'll zoom out here in a second so you can see it in its full glory. Um, but early blooming perennials are extremely important for our pollinators. So we know in Colorado that May can be a little sparse. Um, things aren't exactly blooming and going crazy quite yet. And so this is a solution um, for maybe wanting to introduce some early bloomers into your gardens. So this can be a great addition um, alongside any of your spring bulbs that are going to bloom, but it's extremely important for pollinators because they are already emerging. We've had queen bumblebees buzzing around this plant. Um, our honeybees are emerging from their hives already. So um, providing resources for those pollinators is going to be extremely important. So here is the Thermopsis lupinoides in all its glory here. You can see it's in this really lovely upright clump. I'll zoom in on the flowers here so you can take a look. So you can see the very interesting, beautiful yellow flowers, P-shaped. It's going to get about 24 inches to 36 inches tall and it should bloom through May. We've had a historically dry April here in Colorado and you can see the Thermopsis does not seem to care. Um, it still looks great, it's blooming profusely and so it is pretty drought tolerant. Um, as all plants in the plant select program are. So this plant has been vetted, it's been put through a trial process and it has been approved. And so um, it is a very tough plant. It's also low maintenance, which is a quality of most plant select plants. So you can deadhead it whenever it's finished blooming, but you really don't need to. And then otherwise I leave the, the foliage up for the remainder of the season. And then the following season, um, very early spring, I will shear it to the ground um, and then it will reflush and it will look great. So I hope you can consider this plant. It is a new addition. So um, it's really important for us to support those early emerging pollinators. So hopefully you can, you can purchase this plant at a local garden center, install it, and then just see all the pollinators flock to it as they, uh, they wake up pretty hungry. So thank you for watching and um, happy spring.